Our live team coverage continues with Jessica Albert in Harford County, where there were several structural collapses and rescues. Jessica, what have you learned? Well, Mike, I've learned that it got dicey for several families here in Harford County, including the family that lives in this home behind me here. A tree actually fell on their home while they were inside it. They had to be rescued by firefighters and taken to the hospital. But as you can see tonight, they're working on cleaning up. So are so many other families in the county. Picking up the pieces after powerful storms hit Harford County. We've seen every hurricane that's come up the bay. Nothing like yesterday. It was unbelievable. A family in Forest Hills home was spared after several tall trees snapped in their backyard. They weren't up from the roots. It, everything was just sheared off. It was like somebody took a sieve and just went. Psh and it happens so quickly. In Whitehall, another family not as lucky. A massive tree fell onto the home of a couple in their 70s, crashing into the room they were in. The couple's son, Todd Sexton, tells WJZ his father dug his mother out of the rubble. The couple had to be rescued by firefighters and taken to the hospital. Emotionally, I mean, it's, it's a very stressful situation. Uh, pretty, pretty tra traumatic incident that happened to him. Harford County Executive Bob Cassily says the storm caused four structural collapses across the county with the worst damage in the northern section. That was a major storm, a really wicked storm, and it really hit across the county. Cassily says emergency services was prepared for the storm. They started tracking it around 2 Monday afternoon. Their team worked with BGE to restore power to more than 10,000 homes overnight and had crews out throughout the county clearing about 80 road closures due to fallen trees. By 4 o'clock this morning, we cleared all but about 19 of those, and those we couldn't clear because they had wires. Only minor injuries were reported during this storm in Harford County. Sexton says repairing the damage to his family's home is the least of their worries. He's thankful his parents are okay. They are the whole family. My mother's the whole family. Um, but uh, if it wasn't for the firemen and my father, uh, she would not be alive today. And Harford County Emergency Services has set up a crisis hotline for people who are still without power at this hour. They've also set up seven locations where people can bring debris from the storm to, through, to throughout the county. For that information, just head to our website, WJZ.com. Reporting live in Harford County, Jessica Albert for WJZ.